United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, part of Rostec State Corporation, stated that in 2024 it will begin deliveries of Su-57s that have been upgraded with the new AL-51F1 engine or previously called Isdali-30. This modernized aircraft is codenamed Su-57M. The letter M is commonly used by Russia to designate aircraft that have marked upgrades or modernization. As stated by Rostec, the powerful AL-51F1 engine has passed all tests and passed with flying colors, exceeding expectations. This new engine produces a strong thrust of 11,000 kg and an afterburner capable of reaching 18,000 kg. Due to these improvements, the Su-57 can now reach a cruising speed of Mach 2, while reducing its visibility in the infrared range, a decisive advance compared to its predecessor, quoted Bulgarian military. Interestingly, the AL-51F1 does not simply improve the Su-57. It also revitalized another promising fighter, the Su-75 Checkmate. Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov said at the Petersburg International Economic Forum, SPIEF, the Su-75 is scheduled to launch its maiden test flight in mid-2025. Initial models of this revolutionary aircraft are currently being built at the Gagarin Aircraft Factory, Kane AAZ. Currently, the Russian Su-57 is powered by the AL-41F1 engine or its modified version, the AL-41F1S. This is an important factor causing global aviation authorities to withhold their recognition of the Su-57 as a fifth-generation fighter aircraft. Enter the AL-51F1 a game-changing machine that propelled the Su-57 firmly into the ranks of fifth-generation fighters. The AL-41F1 engine was originally developed for the MiG-1.44 project. As time went by, this aircraft received upgrades and evolved into the AL-41F1S we see today, used on the Su-35S and later on the Su-57. Experts argued that this engine did not allow the Su-57 to reach supersonic cruising speed without afterburning, a trait expected from the fifth-generation fighter called Supercruise, so it was replaced with a new engine.